in order to open the door for a set of actors to produce their finest performances possible in a movie, the director helming said feature will usually go out of their way to build a degree of trust with their cast and crew. Yet if cinema history has taught us one thing, it's that a mind behind a movie will often do everything in their power to bring their vision to the big screen, even if that means breaking that aforementioned trust to do so. So with that in mind, I'm Gareth from WhatCulture.com and here are 10 actors who were tricked into famous movie scenes. Number 10. Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory The actors weren't told about the tunnel scene. Throughout much of the making of the now iconic Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory feature, director Mel Stewart insisted on not showing or telling the actors experiencing Wonka's world for the first time much about the factory or the mysterious figure behind it. So on top of only being first shown the colourful chocolate room during the shooting of the actual scene, Stewart also didn't inform his cast exactly what was incoming once they sat down for a ride down the chocolate river. As the lights began to flicker, and and Wilder's improvised performance only grew in terrifying intensity, the children in particular were pretty spooked by the surreal set of events. This made for some authentic reactions when it came to the finished product. But it also made the cast wonder whether anyone would want to come and watch a movie showcasing this madman. Luckily though, they did. Number 9. The Blair Witch Project The actors were regularly spooked by the crew. The directors of found footage smash hit The Blair Witch Project, Daniel Merrick and Eduardo Sanchez had to find unorthodox ways to legitimately instill fear into their cast when they least expected it. On top of camouflaging themselves in the woods and randomly performing the various surreal noises the characters hear at certain points in the movie, the directors opted to suddenly shake their tent and play frightening sounds of children playing outside of it in the middle of the night to abruptly frighten the actors slash characters of Heather, Mike, and Josh. Though the cast were well aware that they were shooting a highly improvised movie, they genuinely were not expecting most of the director-orchestrated paranormal activity to go down at the times it did, leading to a number of shockingly authentic reactions which left audiences initially wondering whether they were actually watching a non-fictional event take place. Number 8. Kez The director lies about a dead bird. Kez tells the story of a young working class boy by the name of Billy, who steals an infant kestrel from its nest before teaching it the art of falconry. David Bradley, the actor playing Billy, was largely involved in training the three kestrels who helped bring Kez to life on the big screen, and was particularly attached to a bird called Hardy. Yet, in an attempt to elicit as genuine a performance as possible from the youngster, director Ken Loach told Bradley that Hardy was set to be legitimately killed, and his corpse would then be used in the scene where Billy finds his companion dead in a bin. Bradley went on to give a stirring and painfully honest performance throughout this heartbreaking scene. However, Loach then revealed soon after shooting that this was all merely a trick, and Hardy was actually safe and sound, with a relieved Bradley exclaiming, I knew you wouldn't kill him, I knew you wouldn't, when he found out the truth. The bird ultimately used in the scene was actually another which died of natural causes, which still isn't exactly cool, Ken. Number 7. The Exorcist Jason Miller is misled about vomit. In case you were wondering exactly how the team behind iconic horror feature The Exorcist managed to produce some of the most recognizable vomit in all of cinema, now there's an honor, it turns out the stream of sick which left the mouth of Linda Blair's possessed Regan McNeil was made up of old pea soup. So it's fair to say that any actor wouldn't exactly be in a rush to take a face full of this rotten green mess. Luckily, Jason Miller, playing Father Damien Carras in the film, had been promised that any vomit directed at him during his scene opposite Blair would strictly land on his chest. However, when it came time to shoot the now infamous moment, the artificial vomit splashed straight into his face, leaving Miller visually disgusted on screen and very much pissed off once the cameras had stopped rolling. Number 6. Star Wars Revenge of the Sith George Lucas secretly adds weight to Darth Vader's costume during the closing stages of 2005's prequel ending Revenge of the Sith, 
fans were finally gifted a moment they'd waited nearly three decades to witness, the birth of Darth Vader. Now, admittedly, the sight of Hayden Christensen breaking free from his restraints, trudging forward and wailing, no, at the realization of the death of his darling Padme Amidala wasn't exactly for everyone. But Christensen's dramatic, disjointed physicality during this infamous scene still made for compelling viewing. In order to present the idea that the former Anakin Skywalker was wasn't completely comfortable in his new life support armor, George Lucas secretly decided to make the suit drastically top heavy. This included making the Jedi turn Sith's unmistakable helmet noticeably weighty, for example. All in all, this cheeky trick definitely helped inform Christensen's physicality in the scene. As fans were made to feel like this tortured soul was still some way from the assured force of fear he'd grow to become as the years rolled by. Number 5. Die Hard Alan Rickman is dropped on one. In a film stacked with iconic moments, the death of Hans Gruber in Die Hard still sits as one of the absolute finest brought to life in the Bruce Willis starring action thriller. Yet, despite the late Alan Rickman being one of the finest thespians of his generation, no doubt well equipped enough to deliver an authentic look of shock when the time called for him to suddenly tumble to his death, stunt coordinator Stars Puccini had other ideas. In order to produce a genuine face of concern as Gruber was dropped from a Nakatomi Plaza window, Window, Pacerni told his colleagues holding Rickman 40 feet above a crash mat with a rope in reality to let the actor loose on the count of one instead of three. As you'd expect, Rickman was caught completely off guard in this moment, giving us one of the most memorable and legitimately terrified performances ever seen during the demise of an on-screen character. Number 4. Dr. Strangelove George C. Scott is tricked into funnier takes Though most people are well aware of the hell Stanley Kubrick put the shining star Shelley Duvall through to bring his vision of Wendy Tarrant to life, the director also wasn't above straight up lying to his performers for the sake of a good take. This is something George C. Scott found out for himself whilst filming Doctor Strangelove with the infamously popular director. Throughout the shoot, it was set to bit hesitant about playing the part of General Buck Turgidson too big in the black comedy. So Kubrick encouraged the performer to spread his wings and dial up his performance, but insisted that these takes were only acting as exercises and wouldn't actually be included in the finished article. However, Kubrick soon went back on those words, and as seen in Scott's noticeably heightened gestures during the hilarious Has He Got A Chance scene, his more animated takes were eventually immortalized on screen. Number 3. The Birds Tippi Hedren wasn't attacked by the mechanical birds she was expecting. Coming into the making of Alfred Hitchcock's The Birds, Tippi Hedren had yet to appear in a feature film on the big screen. So when she was informed that the now infamous bedroom scene involving Melanie Daniels being viciously attacked by birds would see the actor sharing the screen with mechanical creatures, Hedren had no reason to doubt that to be the truth. Yet when it came time to shoot the aforementioned chaos, Hedren was suddenly told by the assistant director that the robo birds were apparently not working, meaning the real deal would have to be used instead. Hedron was initially unnerved and understandably shaken by this reveal, but refused to let Hitchcock break her spirit on set, repeatedly telling herself, I won't let him break me, whilst enjoying the wrath of a flock of real-life birds being hurled at her by their handlers. This madness would go on for five days straight. In the end, though, Hedron would finally call it a day after being pecked dangerously close to her eye. But in all honesty, it's a miracle she lasted as long as she did. Number 2. Alien Ridley Scott doesn't prepare his actors for the chest burst when Ridley Scott unexpectedly introduced audiences to his chilling xenomorph for the first time back in 1979's Alien, it's fair to say a few people around the world were caught a bit off guard by the manner of its arrival. Yet it wasn't just the fans in cinemas who were left genuinely jumping and covering their eyes in horror at its disturbing reveal. Though John Hurt, Scott, and those involved with setting up the special effects were thoroughly clued up, the director chose not to inform the rest of the cast exactly what was about to go down down in the room before shooting. The likes of Sigourney Weaver, Veronica Cartwright, and Yafet Kotto had no idea the infant creature would be bursting from Hurt's chest. Cartwright infamously passed out once the cameras ceased rolling, and Kotto reportedly went to his room and refused to speak with anyone. Needless to say, the combination of legit feeling responses and those horrific visuals brought to life by the crew helped cement Alien as a piece of timeless cinematic gold. 
Number 1. Basic Instinct Sharon Stone hands over her underpants after being told we wouldn't see anything. Every now and again, a single solitary movie moment can go on to become more famous and recognizable than the actual film it originates from. That can definitely be said of the sequence involving Sharon Stone's Catherine Trammell uncrossing and recrossing her legs in order to taunt those interrogating her during a scene in Basic Instinct. As Stone later recalled, she had no reason not to believe director Paul Verhoeven when he told her we won't see anything. After requesting, the star give him her underwear. His reasoning being that the character would likely be going commando in this moment. So she did, and her life was soon changed forever. While there's no doubting that her performance in Basic Instinct alongside this well-known moment helped turn Stone into a household name, the deception behind the making of this particular sequence clearly irked Stone. Despite this, she still claims it was right for the movie, but felt Verhoeven should have at least ran the shot by Stone before putting it in the finished cut. And that's our list. Know of any other times actors were tricked into famous movie scenes? Let us know all about them in the comments section below and don't forget to like, share and click on that subscribe button.